We can all agree very positive. what Joe Manganello did on this program yesterday was full-on smack talk. Oh, uh, yeah. Diehard Steeler fan Joe Manganello. okay, taking on the Kansas City Chiefs in their improbable extension of their season, correct? Very much so. Kansas City Chiefs <laughs> who have had some success in recent years after their Super Bowl championship. First one in 50 years yeah. when they had it a couple years ago. So I asked him uh, a very simple question about the actor Eric Stone Street, who worked very long time on the highly successful television program Modern Family with his wife, Sophia Vergara. Great show. Uh, this is the exchange. I'm assuming you and Stone Street are tight through your wife, right? So <laughs> how is that working for, for next Sunday night for Steelers Chiefs? How are we working this one? Joe. I don't know. You know, I mean, we, I really don't talk football with him. You know, it, 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 it's, it's one of those things where, like, you know, it's kind of like nouveau riche versus old money. You know, wow. where, where it's like we've been there, done that. You know, we wear it a little differently, you know what I mean, to somebody who just comes out of nowhere and starts winning. So there, there's a bit of a difference in, in how we carry ourselves. <laughs> like a Rolex versus Richard Mealy oh, kind of. Oh, my. Nothing wrong with the Richard Mew. I'll no, say that. Of course not. Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know. Uh, that would be more like a diamond encrusted Breitling or something, wow. you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That is a better answer than I could have ever imagined. There you go. That was so funny. <laughs> so I, I, you know, you posted that on Twitter. I sent that to Stone Street. <laughs> oh, he oh. didn't respond on Twitter. He responded with just to me by texting, okay. oh, yes, I saw. Oh. Then last <laughs> night, <laughs> last night, he sent me right around halftime of the national championship game. Okay. The following. Put on the screen. For immediate oh, release. God. Statement from Eric Stone Street via his attorney, Mitchell Pritchett, <laughs> on recent comments made by Mr. Joe Manganello on the Rich Eisen Show. Oh. It's a full statement. <laughs> Mitchell Let me Pritchett. Read it. Mitchell Pritchett. <laughs> Modern family fans know exactly who that is. The Steelers have had a long winning and storied history in the NFL. And while true, the Steelers' record against the Chiefs is a winning 23 and 13. The Kansas City Chiefs are a forward-looking organization and fan base with hearts and eyes firmly planted on the task ahead of them, both on Sunday and on the bright future moving forward with a destined Hall of Fame coach, an energetic and aggressive GM, and, of course, a quarterback who many say could already be among the best of all time. Paragraph two. Mr. Stone Street would encourage Mr. Manganello to also look to the future and remind him what the great Gianni Versace said... <laughs> I'm not interested in the past except as the road to the future. Or what Thomas Jefferson once told him, I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. All that being said, Mr. Stone Street is looking forward to the upcoming biopic, Big Ben, starring 75-year-old actor Ed O'Neill in the title role. <laughs> Mr. Stone Street would finally ask Mr. Manganiello to pass along his well wishes and a general hola to his wife and Mr. Stone Street's former co-worker, Mrs. Sophia Vergara. That is incredible. <laughs> for immediate release. That was embargoed Fair for use back. until this very moment. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is... Big Ben, new movie starring 75-year-old actor Ed O'Neill. By the way, former Steeler for a cup of coffee. In Chuck Knoll's first training camp. Yep. And before would, Chuck Knoll personally cut him. And I would argue uh, Ed probably moves better right now than Big Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to you to pile on top yeah. of any Big Ben uh, shade. You know, that's what I do. Well done, Eric Stone Street. Well, or uh, Mitchell Pritchett. Oh, sorry, Mitchell, Mitchell, yeah. Mitchell Pritchett. His, uh, I believe, uh, betrothed and uh, slash attorney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cam and Mitch. That is just tremendous. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. All right, so that was not the press release I was thinking. Can, no. I, ha can I have that That's to uh, post immediately on uh, socials? Thank I you. shall send it to you, sir. It has now been released. Thank it's for you. immediate release. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> wow. Did not see that coming. Uh -oh. Didn't see it coming when I just looked down at halftime. I'm like, Stone Street's texting me. What is it? And it looks like it's a, it's a document. What is this thing? <laughs> He sent me a document.
Here, I am now forwarding it to you. <laughs> the funniest is, oh, I saw. <laughs> I, That's where he goes, oh, yes, I saw. That's all he wrote. I <laughs> imagine that he probably saw it immediately. He probably has, like, verified notifications turned on or something. I don't. Th- no way he does. No way. But he probably saw it, you know, in, in, in the early afternoon. And just Here the, the crafting way. that he spent oh, yeah. all, <laughs> all day. You know, evening just coming on up that with well, let me. He uh, finally hit send. send. Well, here's the thing. Um, so I sent him the tweet of Manganello's comments at 4.40 our time, and he wrote, oh, yes, I saw. And by 7.24 our time, this release had been fully crafted. Fantastic. All right, let me just. Former Steeler, Ed O'Neill. Let me just throw that up there. That's one of our, my, our favorite videos. <laughs> Ed O'Neill talking about Chuck Knoll cutting him in training camp and then offering him an opportunity to go down the road with the Eagles. He could have gotten him a spot with the Eagles. And he's like, no, I'm done. He just was done playing football. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.